Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on a new application from Microsoft, which is called Cody, an any to any generation via composable diffusion. Now, this is a framework that enables any to any generation of data using a technique called diffusion models. It is designed to generate diverse and coherent samples across different domains, such as images, text, and other types of data, which we can see in this video that is playing in front of us right now. Now, diffusion models are a type of generative model that can learn to refine samples by applying a series of steps to the initial noisy inputs. This process allows the models to generate high quality data samples through gradual improvements. Now, Cody builds upon this foundation of diffusion models to extend their capabilities to handle a diverse different type of domains that are inputted into the application. Now, the key idea behind Cody is its concept of composable diffusion. Composability refers to the ability to combine or compose different diffusion models to generate data samples that span multiple domains. Now, in context of Cody, this means that you can generate samples that are seamlessly transitionable into different types of data, such as generating an image that corresponds to a given text. Now, Cody achieves this by employing a different type of structure where each layer is in a hierarchy and it corresponds to different domains. At each level, the different types of diffusion models refines the input data to produce higher quality samples. By stacking multiple diffusion models, you're able to see that Cody enables the generation of diverse and coherent samples across different domains. Now, the training process of Cody involves the learning of cap different types of parameters of diffusion models using large data sets that contain examples from desired domains. And this is something that I'm going to be showcasing in today's video. Now, during training, the models have been refined to like basically focus on the inputs by optimizing their parameters to minimize the difference between the generative samples and the real data. Now, this optimization process is typically performed using techniques like maximum likelihood estimation, and this is what gets it to be so refined and output it into really good quality. Now, once this is had like once the data sets have been trained, what Cody then does is that it can then like then focus on being used for different types of applications such as image synthesization from like actual textual descriptions you have text generation from images and even more complex tasks like cross-domain data translations which is why it is called any to any because it focuses on different types of generation now the ability to generate data samples across multiple domains makes Cody a versatile framework with a lot of potential and this is something that we're going to be showcasing in today's video in today's video, we're going to take a deeper look at what Cody can do, as well as taking a look at some of the models architecture, as well as the different types of demos that they have uploaded on their blog post. We can see that they actually haven't uploaded the data sets on the actual GitHub repo at the current moment, but once they are uploaded, I can give you an update on their Twitter page, which leads you to the next segment. If you guys haven't followed my Twitter page, definitely do so guys, as there's going to be a lot of content and a lot of news that will be posted here very, very quickly in the AI world to give you the best latest news. So definitely give this a follow so you get the latest news. And um, you, you can see over here, I'm always constantly posting the latest news that will get you up to date in the AI world. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed, it would mean the whole world to me, guys. If you guys can do so, turn on the notification bell. Like this video as it will definitely help the algorithm out. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, please do so, guys, because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from as it's providing you the best value that will definitely put you ahead in the AI world. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. Now, as you talked about, Composable Diffusion, which is Cody, is a novel generative model that is capable of generating any combination of output modalities. This includes focusing on different inputs of a language, text, audio, or video, and through these like combinations of inputs, you're able to get different modalities that can give you an output. Now, with this description, let us actually take a look at what Cody is able to do with this architecture. Now, this figure on Cody's website on their blog post illustrates the concept of composable diffusion and its multi-stage training scheme, which you can see over here. 
Now, this scheme allows Cody to train on a linear number of tasks, but enables the interface on all combinations of input and output modalities. Now, this figure consists of three main parts, which you can see over here. The first one is its composable conditioning. You have the second stage, which is the joint generation, and the last stage, which is its inter inferences. Now, the firstly, in its training stages, there are multiple diffusion models which you can see over here and they're stacked together in a hierarchy structure which we talked about at the start now each model represents a specific domain or modality such as an image a text or an audio encoder now the models are trained in a sequential manner where each model refines the input data to generate a high quality sample for the sequential model now the training starts with a base diffusion model at the bottom which refers and takes random noise as an input and then generates the actual initial samples that were provided now then the samples are then generated by each model in a hierarchy which serves as an input for the next model in the sequence which allows for a gradual improvement over generated data in the future now this multi-step stage training scheme ensures that the model captures the dependencies and characteristics of each modality effectively and efficiently in the next stage which is the actual conditioning you're able to see that the task conditioning refers to the process of specifically getting the desired input and output modalities during inferences now in this figure it represents by an arrow that indicates the chosen input and output modalities which you can see over here now, for example, if the input modality is a text and the output modality is an image, the corresponding arrows would connect the text and image domain together, which we can see over here. Now, the tax conditioning allows Cody to generate examples and bridge the gap between different modalities or domains. And this is quite remarkable as to what they've done. It's actually a group of interns from Microsoft who've been able to accomplish this, which is quite awesome and remarkable as to what they have done. So great props to them for creating such an amazing research for this actual application. And lastly, let us take a step to take a cover of the inference stage. Now in this stage, it represents the generation process after the models have been trained, which we talked about in the first two stages. Now, based on the specific task conditioning, Cody then takes the corresponding inputs as well as the modality and generates the samples in desired output modalities, which you can see over here. Now, based off of the specific task conditioning, Cody takes the corresponding inputs, which you see here, and then it trains during the training stages, which works together to transform the input into a desired output. Now, the composable nature of diffusion models allows this to generate samples across various combinations of input and output modalities. And this is the great thing about Cody, as it's able to use different multi-stages to give you the best output. And this is why it is called any to any, because it can do a lot by combining different modalities to give you an output. Now, this project is a part of iCode, which is Microsoft's like project that is to build in an integrative and composable multimodal artificial intelligence. And this is something that they're continuously working to build upon. And actually, it's an open source project, which is adopted with the code of conduct, in which you can actually contribute to it by sending in re like different types of requests to the actual open source Microsoft community. So if you really want to contribute it, to the actual project you can do so by clicking on this link on the repo and i'll leave all the links in the description below but now let us actually focus on the next step which we are going to be taking a look at some of the most notable features about this application as we talked about you have composability which enables the composition of diffusion into different models you can combine different things such as text to audio into an image we can see over here an oil painting and through this description you can get an audio representation so both of these are connected as we talked about in this model architecture and you're able to get a generative image so let's hear this description so from this audio we can see that we're on the actual c and through the modality of both the textual representation as well as an input of an audio representation we're able to get this image that is outputted Another one is, is image plus or a text plus an image and we're able to generate another image that is a little bit more better looking. In this case, you're able to combine all three, a text, an audio, and an image. In this case, we see this in the demo video at the start. 
you have an audio description of this. It sounds like a rollerblade or something in a city where you're like skiing down or not skiing down, but you're rollerblading down in the city. You have a teddy bear on a skateboard, a uh, 4K resolution, and you have Times Square over here. And from this input of three different modalities, you're able to get this image outputted. Now moving forward, we have a text plus an audio. Now, I don't think the audio is here at this moment, but you're able to get this video that is outputted. Now, you can also do text plus images into a video, text plus images again into a video, which is kind of pretty cute. You see this panda. You have a video plus an audio, which is in like this, like it's combined together and you're able to get this text. You can see here over here, the panda is eating the bamboo. And we can see over here, it's able to output it, panda eating bamboo, people laughing. And you can probably hear that people is laughing in the description, audio description. Now, you can even do image plus an audio, which you see over here. It's uh, like a waterfall, a little mini one of a river. And you can probably hear, this is a water running down the stream. Yep, and we can see that this is able to output this. A nice little stream in the forest now you're able to do a lot of different things a multi output joint generation which we talked about a text plus an image plus an audio is able to generate a video plus an audio we can see that we got the same inputs above from this actual example and we we're able to see that it's able to output this video plus an audio i'm just going to turn on the audio because it might be a little bit loud for you guys <laughs> you can see the teddy bear coming in <laughs> obviously it's not going to be the best thing but it's a work in progress guys so you're going to continuously see more development and more innovation to these different types of things now let's get into the next thing which we see a text into a video plus an audio now fireworks in the sky that is quite dope and I definitely recommend that you play around with this because there's so many different things. You can do single to single generation, which is a text to an image. You can get very high quality images from a textual prompt. You can do an image to a video, which is quite cool because you can even get representation of a GIF being created, an image to an audio. You can do audio to a text and so much more. So I highly recommend that you play around with this guys because this is a lot of things that you can do with this application. So definitely recommend that you play around with it. And with that thought guys, thank you so much for watching. It really, really means a lot to me. Make sure you give this a follow. It really mean a, a lot to me guys if you guys can do so. Make sure you, if you haven't checked out any of my previous videos, definitely do so as there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. Please subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you later. Peace out, fellas.